Hey everyone, it's Deacon082, and welcome back to Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Red Rescue Team. In the last episode, what did we do in the last episode? I think we finished our rescue team base, and then it went off into Mount Freeze and got some money. So, in this episode, I'm not sure what we have to do here, but got more mail. We got another Frosty Forest Escort mission. That's actually a nice reward, but it's a Shroomish in an Ice-type dungeon that doesn't have Ice-types. Hole, top two items. Grab the rock first, Orenberry second, according to Sidowoodo of Team Fakers. <laughs> That's not us, by the way. And then the Seven Wonders of Pokemon, the Mysterious Feet of Diglett. What is inside Fortress's shell? The Intelligence of Girafferick's Tail. Arbok's variety of patterns. It's actually kind of funny because Arbok does have a different pattern on its belly depending on which game it's in, which I always found pretty cool. Um, I don't know what kind of pattern it would have in Mystery Dungeon compared to the others since it's not a main series game. But if you don't believe me, just go look it up. Look at like Arbok's sprite in every game. It's the only one that's really been different. And of course if you trade an Arbok from, let's just say, trading Arbok from Fire Red and put it in Diamond version through the PAL Park, you will notice its patterns change, which is the only part that doesn't really make sense. So, yeah, just, just the little things I noticed that are kind of cool. Um, so, in this, uh, we're gonna look at items again to see if they have anything good here. And we got another stamina band. Um, it's not it's it's not one I really go for, but it it could help. Just because to have uh, your belly empty less, you lose out on some attack power, which I don't know could keep you from some kills in some cases. So I'll store all this money. I also saw a TM for Thunderbolt, but 8,000 Pokey and Pikachu learns it eventually. So it's not really worth it, so not gonna do it. Um, man, these are better be good rewards if we're delivering a power band and a special band. Deliver a power band for 300 Pokey. Is that even worth doing? But th these missions kind of suck this time. Um, I know for a fact I have both of these items, so we're going to do these, and I mean it doesn't hurt to take them, we can always delete them if we don't want to do them. So it looks like um, I have two Lapis, Caves, Lapis Cave missions. Lapis Cave is a really short dungeon, so I'm going to, um, it was a Power Band and Aurora TM, right? I think. Yeah, we have five power bands, so I suppose I'll do these. It's a really short dungeon, so we might have time to do two sets of missions in this episode. Did I accept these? Nope, I, I should probably take the job first. Alright, so... Did I get Sidowoodo? Yes, I did. Okay, we're all good to go to Lapis Cave for two quick missions in a really short dungeon. Like I said, these are really far away because we ran quite a ways over to Mount Blaze. Um, just two simple deliveries, so I really don't need to show a lot of this. I'm hoping to do two sets of missions in the episode, though, so. So we're starting off going on to the second floor. This place is really simple. The Zubats actually still do a decent amount of damage, and I still have Metal Claw set up. So Lepus Cave is actually more difficult than Uproar Forest, which makes no sense. Metal Claw before, um, if you're gonna link moves, Metal Claw before, like, Scratch could be helpful because you have a chance of boosting your attack, which is nice, but it's such a small chance that it's not really worth it. But it is extra damage, so it could be helpful. So we're delivering, um, I think the first one was a Aurora TM, I can check that, but we're delivering it to a Slacking. 
Yeah, Slacking needed Aurora TM for whatever reason. I mean, I don't blame him. Aurora is a pretty weird move in this game. It actually blows your enemy away. It scares them off and they go flying. So it's kind of fun to see. We'll see it eventually, but it's not something I'll really work hard to show. And then the 8th floor of Lepus Cave. Um, that, that positioning just reminded me of the Outlaw missions, which I really like. The Outlaw missions start appearing in the second Mystery Dungeon game, and I, I would like to uh, also play that one on this channel eventually, but I do have the issue of I would have to emulate it because I don't have a DS capture card. And there's also the issue of, I don't know, it's the frame rate kind of sucks and I haven't had a lot of luck with uh, DS recordings on emulator or even just playing DS games on emulator. So, not exactly sure how that'll go, but it's something I would like to do. Of course, it probably wouldn't happen until the post game of this is finished. Just so I don't get confused with two Mystery Dungeon games going at once. So that's something you'll just have to wait and see on. It won't be for a long time, so <laughs> it'll just be interesting to see. Um, we're gonna just finish this dungeon, it's 14 floors, and then hopefully do something else or maybe the storyline will be ready to pro progress by then. Ooh, I just picked up a really nice item called a gold ribbon. It has no effect at all. It's basically the nugget of this game, but you can sell it for, I believe, maybe 3,000 Poké Dollars, which is really nice. They're actually, <laughs> even if you find them in a shop, maybe in a dungeon, it's kind of worth buying just because you can sell it later. It's kind of like an investment. And that's going to be a rank up. We grow from the bronze rank to the silver rank, which requires, I believe, 500 points. That would make sense, because it's a nice whole number. 